What up, players? It's Wobos Tay up in this mood. Welcome to day seven of my how to get through a Dark Eldar painting project. Uh, I've got my 17 witches here that are still in various states of completion. So today, the goal is going to be to clean up all of the areas that um, may have gotten stray bits of paint in them. For example, um, on the sides of all these leggings of our witches, we have little little holes, uh, rips and tears in the bodysuits, and a lot of them, a lot of the models have some stray Deneb stone that got onto the side. So I'm going to be cleaning that up with some Chaos Black. Also going to be cleaning up any Chaos Black areas that have gold on them from painting the bodysuit. Some of them have stray flecks of gold like here on the sides of these zippers or on the sides of the various gold pieces. So I'm going to be cleaning all of those up. <clears throat> uh, sometimes if you look at the bottom these uh, anklets, sometimes when I was trying to get to the gold it a little bit splashed onto the let's see where's a good angle that you could see some of this some of the gold, uh, gold paint got onto the, the the shoe or the, the boot, so I'm gonna have to be keeping an eye out for those as well. But basically, today is just a day of, of cleaning. And also I'm gonna be, so that I don't go crazy just like looking for those fine, fine details, I'm also going to be painting the, um, the armor highlights. Yeah, I was thinking of doing the hair, but you know, I think I'm going to do the armor highlights so that I can um, at least have have that done with as well. And then once the armor highlights are done, I can give everything a bad at black. It'll t tone down all this gold colors. It'll tone down the armor highlights, and um, and then I can just build up the hair and the skin and be done with it um, after adding in final details like like purple cloth around some of the some of their arms. Some of them have purple. Um, cloth stuff and of course there's the fleshy the fleshy <clears throat> cod uh, loincloths or the cod pieces so still a, a, a little ways to go yet but now everything's starting to come together only got 17 to paint so looking forward to it we'll see you in a couple of hours all right so I failed um, I didn't get through as much as I wanted to but I did finish another three completely so let's take a look at them. Here's one of them. This guy running forward. And I'm really liking painting these uh, green drug tubes in the leg. <laughs> in the leg leggings. I think that they're just pumping themselves so full of drugs. I think that's really, really fluffy and interesting. Uh, so there's the first guy. And here's the second one. I also decided to start adding some blazing orange to the highlights for the hair. And uh, you can see a little bit of the tattoo on the face. And there's the purple of the knife. And the uh, purple cloth on the knife and hanging from the belt. That's number two. And here's number three that I finished today. One. So painting the eyes on these are really hard because you want to get in as you know as small as possible, give them that black eyeliner above and below the eye, and then paint in that white those white slashes where the eyes are gonna be those horizontal lines, and then painting in those vertical lines for the actual pupils. So what I do is, this is the edge of my table, and I will sometimes maybe back up a little bit, brace my wrists on the table so that they don't shake. If my model is here on my cork, then one model, at one hand is braced as much as it will go, and my brush hand, the heel of my hand, braces against the edge of the table, so it's as it is as steady and controlled as it can be. Yep, so that's how I do really, really fine work. If I'm not working on a camera, if I'm having to film a live action tutorial, then um, chances are 
I might not be that detailed and precise because I want to keep it in focus, but I'll go back and fix it later using this positioning and um, bracing, stabilizing yourself. Especially for those of you out there with shaky hands, you want to find little tricks like that that will keep you uh, keep you from from giving up. And um, like I said, what I've been doing is painting the bodysuit with Chaos Black. So any of the leather vinyl of the bodysuit, you'll notice that Chaos Black has a very shiny, glossy finish to it. So even when it dries, it still has a little bit of a shine to it. And um, if you varnish it, you even amplify that effect even more. But I think it has a really good, really good shiny effect that you don't have to worry about about highlighting too much. If you really want to, then you can go in and do some highlights. But I think I'm just gonna leave leave it as as is because I don't want the highlights to detract from the the highlights of the armor plates. <clears throat> okay. So thanks for watching. This is. Project Dark Eldar, day numero 7, and we'll see you tomorrow, and the goal will hopefully be to get some more um, complete layers done before I, I lose my discipline and uh, focus on going like in groups of three, which I seem to enjoy doing at this stage. Alright, see ya!